What's up, guys? It's your boy Fix It Daniel, and we are back finishing up the scooter. We're going to be doing the transmission today. It is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to, to, to all of you on YouTube. Let us get into showing you guys what we're going to be starting with. Welcome to the channel. We are going to be working on the scooter today. We're going to be doing the transmission. Um, I kind of got it half started a little bit because I needed to figure out what the nut size was, but I'm going to show you guys what we're going to get started on. So, all right, we already got it halfway started. Like I said, sorry for that, for not showing you guys, but I needed to figure out what the nut size was. And uh, I mean, this nut size. So I need to go to the store to get this nut size. So we're going to be changing this whole entire transmission with the variator weights and this clutch assembly all together. We already got everything taken apart already. And we are going to be showing you guys um, how we're gonna be doing this all. So let me go over to the table and show you guys what we got. So <clears throat> if you guys have not seen in my previous videos, um, we had got this variator set from Rolling Wrench. Um, it is the whole entire, everything that we need. And voila, we got everything. We got the whole new, we got a whole new everything. We got a whole new weights. These are um, these are nine gram. These are nine gram weights. I have seven in there now. Got a whole new clutch set already already together. And there's the spring with the beads and everything. We got it set up. <clears throat> we got everything all nice and good. And we got a whole new everything. So this is what we're going to be putting in. So let's go and get over there and get this thing started. All right, since we already got the cover off and we already got the belt and clutch everything off, now we're going to go ahead and take off this little piece here. All right, I'm just going to pull this off. It's easy, lay it down so that we know which way it goes. Get this belt out the way, leave it right there so we know where it is. And then we're just gonna just pull this whole entire piece out. Like so. <clears throat> so we got this the sleeve. Sleeve comes out, set that down, then we flip this over, and then we see that our this is where our weights are. These are our seven grams. So we're going to be replacing that with nine gram. So hopefully the nine should give us that extra um, um, speed that we want to top in. Because right now we're hitting about like 47. That's about the max I could get on this bike um, yesterday. So um, 47 is a pretty good one. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean all this out. This is all nice and cleaned out here. So the belt looks pretty good. We'll probably leave the belt. We'll try it. I got a, two extra ones. Um, this is the original. I think this is this is the original belt. So um, we actually may go ahead and maybe go ahead and use the new one since this one's the original. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not it's not cracked or breaking or anything. It's actually really quite good. But we may go ahead and replace it with that new one. So <clears throat> all right. So now we got this part in. So now. We're going to be getting this clutch off. So, as we know, these, we're going to save these because this is going to go back on the new one that we got. So, we can keep that off to the side. With its nut. Oh, that's over there. Alright, so, now... We are going to get this off. So I went to the store and got this inch and a half. Fits perfectly. Like so. It's not going anywhere. So when we do that, we'll get this um the spring will come out. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go get my punching tool and we're gonna mark this spot right here. So that way we know where it needs to go.
I'm just gonna make a good punch right here. Whew. That way we know that this needs to line up here. That goes right there to there, and then we should be good. So as long as we get that kind of somewhat lined up, that should be fine. And actually we'll make it like, like this here. So a punch here and a punch here. Then that should be a good, nice, good lineup that we have. So, yep. All right, let's get this off. around this way so my feet can hold over it. All right, just like so. And boom. All right, and there we go. Lift this off. Here's all the clutches. This is where a new one's gonna go back on. Pull these up. It's the old spring. It's got an actual nice cup in there we may actually use. And then we have this little piece here. So we just if this, this is kind of like pulls it separate. So this should come off. But yeah, this is how this, this works, kind of curves like that. So we will have to get this off and then we can go from there. So, this should come off pretty easy. Maybe not. All right, we'll figure out how to get this off and then we'll come right back. Hey okay guys, so we're back. I figured out how to do it. So basically, we have to uh, give you a little bit of a story. So this lays like this and actually, oops, sorry. You can't even see what I'm talking about. <laughs> So, um, basically, I figured out how to get it. So, basically, this pries up. So, you pry this up, and when you do that, you expose the pins. So, I already pulled one out. That's one right here. So, there's three of them. So, basically, what we do is we just take our little needle nose and just, just pull it right out. Sit in there. We got one more. Pull it right back out. Boom. Sit them down. Boom, there we go. And then this should just come right out. <clears throat> Just like that. So now that's all out. This is this is all we need because we're going to be replacing all these parts down here with this one. So it goes. I'll show you. It just it goes on like that. Push down. Boom. And you know we put your, your springs or little keyways in here, and then then there you go. That's it. That's pretty much it. So, pretty, pretty straight and simple and forward, and then, um, then we should be good. So, um, we won't need this anymore. This won't be needed. And then uh, we'll go from there. So, stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back. Um, just realized something interesting that I will not be able to use certain parts from this roller wrench kit, which is this. I can't use this because these pins won't fit in this in this groove, but they'll fit in the original. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it back together and change the spring out and the clutch. So we are going to piece this all back together. So <clears throat> we're going to take this. 
slide this back in there because you see how the holes are bigger and you can look see see how how these are like small holes and this is bigger hole so this won't it won't work so we're gonna put the original pins back into the hole and everything and then we'll just replace the spring so we're gonna put this one back in there And we will, I mean, it's okay, but if we can use the clutch in the spring, then that's still a win. So we're gonna put this one back in there and we will put this one back in here. Sorry. So, yep, see how they fit? They didn't fit in the other one. So it's okay. It's not a big problem. Um, We'll just uh, put this back on, like so, and we'll leave it like that. We'll clean some of this grease off, so that way it doesn't sling. It's kind of a bummer, but it happens as long as. As long as we can use the spring and the clutch kit that comes with it, then that just should be fine. That should be perfectly fine. Clean this off a little bit. Then we'll get a, another rag here. We'll open this up. Make sure there's no grease in the thing where the belt goes, because that'll be no good. So we clean all that off, so that way the belt can get some grip to it. All right, so. Looks like we got it on there pretty good. So, um, sorry, you guys can see this. Let's see if you guys can see it. So, this is how the spring went in this little cylinder holder. So, we will replace the spring. You can see the difference in height. So, just take that in there, that goes in there, and then we will take our I will take this off. And then we got some we got some new brake shoes, a lot more thicker brake shoes. And this is this is the same thing here. And it looks already got the springs, so we're already good to go. So all we need to do is just lay this over like that, and we'll push it down, and we'll put the nut on. So let's get that going. So let us clear some of the stuff out of the way. Kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer we couldn't use this kit because this comes with the little bearings. Supposedly, there's supposed to be a set that's supposed to come with this little cap and goes over, and the bearings are supposed to be held in place. I think the bearings actually, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the bearings um, actually went in here, and I think that was actually a holdover, which is probably right. But um, since we're going to keep it kind of original, it fits perfectly just fine, I think we'll be okay. So. We won't be able to use these because there's no casing. So I think these are supposed to go in like a little casing. So like um, I see how this has like a little casing. Um, so I think these ball bearings are supposed to go in there. And then there was another piece that's supposed to go over it almost like almost like this. Almost like this. You take it and you would slide it over. And it would kind of like fit in there. You know what I mean? So you would actually have some ball bearings. Which we actually probably could use. And then it'd just be set up high. There'd be no cup for this but um i mean we could actually use it because actually let's see let's see for a second let me just test my theory thinking here so this looks like this so see see how that goes over it quite well actually and then that would have that would have sat on that I believe the ball bearings, the ball bearings would have gone in here. And then this. This sits in here. 
but it's not flush. It's because because of this because of this lip here, as you see. So it's not exactly flush. Um, it's not flush. It doesn't seat in there. So you know, granted, yes, when the, when the pistons, the paint springs are going to be on top of it, it's going to press on top. But um, they don't they don't fit over it. If they fit over the hole, it would be perfect. Now you could we could take the ball bearings, stick them in there, and then lay them over top, and then that would give us some extra free flowing. But I don't know if that would be the greatest way of doing that. We could always fix this later. So um, if you guys are in the comments, no. Should we have... So basically my theory is take these ball bearings, stick them in this crevice, maybe not use this since it's, since it's got this little flange here that doesn't sit flush on top. Just take this and just put this, put the springs right over the ball bearings. Like they would just sit right over. So it'd be kind of sitting up a little high. Once it pressed down, it's not going anywhere. Would that be the best way of doing it? Or would it be just this way? Because what we're going to do is we're going to do it the original way. We're basically just going to keep it the original way it was before. And if something happens and they say, no, you should have done that, then we can easily take this apart and add this stuff. So it's not the end of the world if we don't use it. It's just the only thing is that we wouldn't be able to use this because the holes weren't big enough to fit to take the uh, the take these kind of springs, take these little clips. Now, if I get the right clips, then we would be good. So actually, let me check the box, make sure the clips, maybe there's some new clips in there that I just didn't see. So we'll be right back and check on that. Okay, guys, so after checking it, there is no clip. There is no clip for holding these down. Um, it is what it is. So um, we'll just roll with what we got. So we got this all nice and pressed. Um, it slides and turns like it's supposed to. I think we'll be just fine. We'll just deal with what we got. Um, just let me know in the comments, should I have, should I put these these ball bearings in this little roll and then put the spring on top? Or should I just leave it the way like this? Because I'm going to leave it like this. Just the way original way it was. That's the way it came. Because look. Here's the old one. Old one like, it was like that. Had a cup. Boom. That was it. That's all it had. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to, for the time being, I'm going to do it just like that. And then we'll go from there later. So, um, so yeah. And as you see right here, here's the numbers for this new spring. Um. I don't know if you can see if, if, if it stays focused enough. And then it says 1,000 RPM. So hopefully this will be a nice good spring for us. Um, this one obviously doesn't have anything on it. So we don't know what the ratio is for it. But we know that this is this one's going to be better. So all right. So let's get this new piece on top. And then we'll get this bolt on. So let's reposition so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I have room. So... So we're going to slide all this out the way and hold on to it for the time being. Um, so set that to the side, set this to the side, don't need this anymore. This is kind of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, oops. Put this cap back on it and put this on it. We got to line it so it fits perfectly over it. and. We would take our our nut and get my feet and press down on this. This is gonna be tricky. All right, we got it. So we get our nut under our feet. We're gonna hand start hand tighten this first. Grab our little wrench. All right. All right. 
I think we're good. We'll see how this piece does. Oh yeah. Woo, that's tight. <laughs> and there he is. It's on there. It's on there nice and good. And it's actually pretty flat. I guess there was no point in um, doing this punch punch because I just realized the punching and punching was from was from this. So there's really much no point in punching it. So I should have punched it somewhere right there. But it's on there. It's on there nice and good. It definitely is not going anywhere. So this is done. And now we will go and do the variator part. So we're gonna do the very we're gonna leave that right there. <clears throat> and let's move this towel out of the way. I'm gonna clean up this mess real quick. All this grease on the floor will do no good. Alright, so now we are going to go and put these on. This is a new new one. <clears throat> this is actually this for this right here, which is really cool. Um, so we have our new variators here. The new nut and set and everything. So, see, so yeah, we have a whole new kit here. <clears throat> Pull this out. It'll come out. There we go. It's got this little thing. So, this whole, see, it's got a totally new setup here. It's got totally new rollers and everything. Here, let me get a better, a better angle for you guys so you can see it. So. Got a whole new set here. <clears throat> Got a whole new sprocket. That's from the old sprocket. And as you see, there's the the old and the new. We're gonna leave these because this is the one that has the seven gram. <clears throat> so we're gonna add in the nine grams. Like so. Here are the nine grams. And we will stick these in here. In here. Boom. There we go. We got all our new 9 gram rollers in there. We're going to put our little tabby things like that so that's all good to go we got our new sleeve got our new sleeve here just like this just gonna just slide this in the hole I'm gonna stick this on. All right, we're gonna stick this on just like that. in there then we will take this gets actually changed out with a whole new one but I think we're gonna just reuse the original one because I think it'll be a little better so we're just gonna reuse the original sprocket with the new spring so let us get down on this floor 
and then we're gonna get this all set up and we'll be right back okay guys now we're going to get this all back together we're down here on the floor so we can get everything kind of situated so let's get this uh get this in here the spring is gonna be a lot more tighter than uh, than expected so Trying to get this spread out so that way this will fit in here. We will actually we'll put this on here and get this nettle in, and then we'll uh, try to get this going real quick. on here come on get on there trying to get this thing lined up evidently will not get up lined up oh, almost had it here we go all right let me get my wrench real quick <clears throat> And I just learned a trick that if you actually break the rear brake and then hold it really good, then you can actually tighten this up. So we are actually going to swap and do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on our impact. Then we're going to pull on the rear brake. We pull on the rear brake. And then we just tighten. Voila. Just like that. How cool is that, huh? All right. So now the only thing left is to get this, get this on here. And we will take a pry tool. See if we can get this thing to stretch out a little bit more. Which is not working. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, let me get this figured out and I'll be right back. All right, guys. And just like that, we are on there. So it took a little bit of finagling, but we got it on there. So now we will get everything all nice and buttoned up. See if I can find that. It is. And then we'll be done. And we can actually could probably take this for a ride. So let's get this on here. Just like that, just like that. So we are good to go. So now we'll put all those pieces back on.
gonna have to tape this back together because it will not stay. So, uh, yeah, let's get some tape and we will be right back. All right, guys, we are back. So we got some scotch tape on this. This is not permanent, just enough to let us get this on before it falls off. So we're going to get this on right now. Gonna line up the holes. Just like that. <clears throat> now we just put this put all the screws back in. Alright, now we will get these all mounted. Let's do some time lapse mode. Okay, guys, so we're back. So I was riding, and this happened. Apparently, my belt had broke. I don't know how, but it did. And I don't, it, it really made a mess out of everything. I, everything is all messed up. So, I'm not for sure, I'm not for sure what um, happened. I was riding all along and everything got completely chewed up. I mean, look at the fan thing. It got completely chewed up. I uh, don't know what happened. It was supposed to be riding on here, and I think it might have rode on. I think it might have rode on top, and then it just completely just went completely destroyed. So I don't know what happened. Um, oops. So we are going to go back and uh, fix this, clean this, and we'll get this all straight. So let me fix this, and clean it, and we'll grab back. Well, guys, that is it. The bike is running really good. Everything is is going really well. Um, took care of the broken uh, the broken uh, belt. So now the bike starts back up. We will take it for another run. Um, it is running a little rich, and um, and I noticed that when I was taking it out at high full throttle, I do feel like a a loss in power. Like it's almost not letting it go full open throttle so we may adjust the height needle maybe go just one down more i think will be it um but guys that is it the bike is running good running strong um hopefully the transmission will hold up i think the spring might be a little too tight um it did damage when i when the, when the belt broke it did damage those those nine weight rollers so we went back to the seven seven grams so we may have to get some more because it damaged them really bad. I don't know why, but it damaged them super bad. So um, we put back in the original, original spra, uh, um, original roller holder from the original bike. Kept the seven grams in them. Put them back in. It kept. We kept the spring the same, the black spring where it is, and we're gonna try it again and see if that helps. Hopefully the belt doesn't break. If the belt breaks, we got one more belt left, and if that does break, that means that the spring. The springs on that new one is too tight. It's way too much, too much, too much tension. 
and we'll just go back to the original ones and just uh, just just basically get some lighter um, some some more uh, heavier gram weights and then we'll just roll with that maybe even go one step down to the spring maybe get it not so tight maybe just a little more looser but a little more tighter better than the OEM but not as tight as the one on there but we're gonna give it one more try and we're gonna give it another another go around give it another ride and we'll see how it goes but thank you guys so much um, for all the love and support if you guys have any questions or comments for me please put them down in the comments box um, you also can follow me on Instagram at fix Daniels right there I really do appreciate hearing all of it and I all yours comments and I do love appreciate your love and support um, thank you guys so much you guys have a good fourth um, you guys have a good fourth of July we're gonna go people are flying our fireworks everywhere we might take the kids up to go see some fireworks and just have a good time well guys thank you so much I will see you on the next fix. Oh, 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 oh,